Hi guys. My camera's kind of wonky today. We actually have my son. Oh, we are live, just like I promised. I think I promised Luna this time. <laughs> yeah, it was one o'clock. Yeah. I stayed up until roughly four in the morning from like midnight to four in the morning to uh, edit off chapter 69. I have the book like almost complete. It's just that I just, yeah, I have to edit those chapters and I'm going through and making sure I'm, I get so paranoid at the end of a story that I'm gonna hi Danielle how are you <laughs> I already ate my lunch so I have nothing to eat right now even though I am a snacker and I was gonna eat on some granola so yeah hi um so I'm gonna get started cuz I want to be able to you know get everything out I have everything in my head and I should have wrote it down because you guys know I don't know okay so hi I'm Sylvia Hubbard and you are watching my lunchtime live talk of updates about my literary life and everything that's going on and I'm gonna let you in in just a moment hold on Dan. <laughs> so you're gonna ask questions <laughs> so hold on let me finish getting my updates out <laughs> I'm gonna bring you in because I did say I want to bring a couple of you guys in to talk to me about the book so that's gonna be cool um but Let's see what's going on. See, you made me forget my, my spiel. I was trying to remember it by heart. Okay, so going on in my uh, personal life, let's start with that. So personally, my daughter is back from college for one week just so she could get her driver's license. Um, she took her test. And no, no, I'm going to let you in, so don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go nowhere. And then I'm going to... Uh, then oh yeah so she's back so that's been something but she really hasn't been here like i've told you guys before she's kind of like an entity in the house so she only works at night like me so you hear doors opening and closing and things like that um but yeah she and then we met her new boyfriend so that's that's interesting <laughs> so and then uh yeah that's all that's really going on i'm trying to get my bookshelf done so i did you guys see this right here so this is a bathroom thingy, but I'm pu I put it in my office so then I can hang the curtains over this. And then I want to try to put a sign right here. Um, it holds, these are my Barbies. This is like, I have like 10 of them. So I, I collect the, the signature collection um, so of the Barbies. So that's my next thing. So when you guys see that Shonda Rhimes Barbie come out, please tag me on it as soon as you see where it is so I can go buy my Shonda Rhimes Barbie because that's what I'm trying to get It's the next Barbie so that's pretty much it and I collect Funko Pops I don't know if I told you guys that that I collect Funko Pops but only certain kind like I don't just collect any Funko Pop it just gotta be something special to me or mean something special to me I don't know why I don't even know why I started collecting them it was just cute okay that's personal <laughs> um, next up is what I am reading so what I am reading I'm trying to see if I have my book around um, currently I am reading the new Kenya Wright book. She writes more of Asian, uh, black romance. Uh, so I'm reading that. And then for my nonfiction book, I am reading, uh, the Amazon review books for books. And that's only because I want to increase my reviews on my site, on my books. So I don't care what book you have read of mine. If you guys could all go back and put reviews on there. Um, whether you love it, hate it, or, you know, you want to hit me over the head on it, if you guys could start, I really would like to increase the reviews on all of them, so I would really appreciate that. That would mean so much to me. Okay, so, book related. <laughs> Current work in progress. Uh, we'll talk about that last, because then I'm going to bring Danielle in, um, and then we can talk about all of that mess that's going on <laughs> currently. But I did finish my short story for Read an Ebook Week. And that was kind of good. Um, so for that one, Misguided Passion. 
And the reason why I called it that, well, if you read the book, you understand why it was misguided. Because <laughs> I didn't want to use wrong, but it was misguided. But, like, uh, that was a fun story I wrote for the ICU reading group. And I decided for ebook week to let it be available for you guys to see first. So if you guys follow me here in the group or on my website, you actually got to see an exclusive before anybody else knows about it and before I even put it on the book page. Um, so you guys got like first looks on it. So yeah, good for you guys. So if you guys read it, <laughs> thank you for enjoying it. And um, what else is going on? I'm still working on the last part of Essence Divinity. I'm on part three and that part is when he wakes up. So if you've read Essence Divinity and you've been reading it in parts, we did part one, uh, early last year part two came late last year and part three is coming soon but like I said as I was said at the beginning of the video I get so frantic when it gets to the end of the book because I think I forgot something I hold it back and then I'm like oh maybe I shouldn't maybe I should do it all the way back over and I get that imposter syndrome and then it just becomes like a, a water wave so Danielle let me know if you still want me to bring you in just, you know, tag, like, say, hey, okay, I'm ready. And then I'll bring you in because I don't want to bring you in and you're not ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we'll discuss uh, his substitute wife. I think I can do this. Hold on. This is, like, the second time I've done this, so bear with me. Uh, I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. So, I'll be to... <laughs> so we're going to talk about the current the um hi is everything okay i can hear you okay good because i was i, I forgot to check to see if you guys can hear me i'm like uh -huh. oh, I guess you can. <laughs> okay so um 68 was just published and 69 is coming uh so i'm gonna answer your questions about it because i've i've and i've like talked about the book on all my other videos so i'm sure you guys have heard me so what questions <laughs> do you <laughs> you're like <laughs> okay so first first let's get to know you as a reader i'll do that let's get to know you as a reader so you know what Can genres you or tropes do you like and how long have you been reading what books have you read of mine and go from there Okay, so I'm Danielle uh, Snowden. I am um, a reader. I read all um, romance type books, okay. erotic and Christian fiction and whatever. So that's my genre. It doesn't matter. I don't like like the gang, um, the street gang stuff, but the mafia stuff, I like it. Murder, um, you know, uh, all of that stuff i just i don't do a lot of you know the the drug uh trade type trade. romance yeah or the hyped up side piece tick or <laughs> yeah 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 none of that stuff um and honestly um i started reading your book um through vela and um i fell in love with uh this crazy throuple between shay dylan and zig i almost want to choke ronald um <laughs> <laughs> i read um she works hard for the money with um beck and rena and um yeah that book i read it over the weekend i started it saturday and i finished it sunday and um yeah that book had me going so uh <laughs> yesterday that book had me going Yesterday, family it was my mother-in-law's birthday, and uh, me and my sister-in-law and um, I, uh, my daughter, uh, we were sitting around talking, and I was telling them like, "You gotta understand, like this is like crazy, you know." And I've been sharing with them about um, substitute husband, and I'm like, "Okay, come on, we gonna just get in here because I just need somebody to talk to because this is like insane right here." Um, <laughs> So those are the two that I've read. I um, saw that you had listed. Um, I I, I kind of want to read the, the book about Onyx, but then I kind of don't because she makes me so angry. Um, 
you know, well, she I doesn't have her book out yet. Her book is actually, her book has, when does her book have to come? Her book actually can't come until after I do the war with the heart. Okay. So, yeah, so I need more, more, more of these hearts. Um, I got <laughs> questions. Um, I really, you know, I, I dive into the story. So it's like, it, it doesn't matter, you know, what I'm reading. I put myself right there and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like are you the fly on the wall or do you just kind of get the POV? You know what? Sometimes I'm an observer and sometimes I'm right in the middle. Like, nah, you better. And, and I can't believe <laughs> I'm I, And then I'm the crier. Um, then I'm like, come here, come here. Let me hold you. I, you need some oh, prayer. That's so sweet. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, I need some to beat somebody down, you know? So when I say I, <laughs> I do, um, so much so that my husband gets angry because I'm up at like 2.33 o'clock. When I'm finished praying, I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ter that's terrible. I feel bad. <laughs> oh so, my god, that is so cool. That's cool. That is, so, this is my first time interviewing a reader, so this is so cool to hear. <laughs> Girl Scouts with um, my cousin um, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, the girls had an outing, and me and her, she's she's like um, more in the African american writers that's her thing so if you uh -huh. you know american she got you she probably about four to five hundred books a year and um i don't know if she she had not read your book yet so i kind of told her about yours and we were sitting down reading together and um she was like okay okay i got it i got it you know and um so it's good because, you know, I have a community of readers and, you know, so I've been just, you know, talking and, and doing that. And I have a couple of other girlfriends who read too. And so I've been, you know, kind of sharing. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Yeah. And I'm telling everybody about Bella. I mean, I'm like, y'all got to get this because this is like, <laughs> awesome, you know, I like it because it's, it's, it's an episode. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing is. I, I hate waiting. So, you know, once you get in, <laughs> and it's like, but then I'm like, okay, it's Monday. Come on with my episode. Like, I'm almost fiending, you know. Um, but but I like that. Um, I like your writing. I can tell you that um, as a reader, I like the story. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't really care. The plot can be goofy, whatever, you know. But I need the 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 characters to connect. I need the picture painted. I need to actually I read to escape. So I need to immerse myself into okay. the So, you know, I do like that. You know, um, your symmetry, your imagery, all of that like really puts me right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh I uh -huh. describe the house, you know, describe the grounds, you know, and it's like, okay, good. I know where I am, you know. Uh <laughs> underground passages and stuff um you really develop in the characters uh, to give them life you know um sometimes writers they have a a character that i think they initially think this is going to be a minor character so they don't really need to build them but then they don't understand that as they're writing this character is playing a bigger role and you know me i'm asking questions as i'm reading like okay wait a minute what's happening and then I typically go backwards. You know, if I get to something, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, like, I see that. <laughs> you're like, hold up, wait a minute. Wait, what wait, wait. The time? What? <laughs> so since, um, I think it was Brielle. So since Brielle had raised the one question, I went all the way back to episode one and read all the way up. And so I did, I started that on, I think Monday afternoon or something. And so I back up, I done read it, all of them, all the way back now. And I wish I could highlight, like, oh, oh wait a minute, hold on. So, <laughs> um, so that's the only thing. And that's why I sent you that, you know, private message and everything because. Oh, um, no, I, I enjoy, like, especially, like, when I'm doing a live book. Because, like, I don't know what, about other writers, because they've told me I can't stand when a reader, you know, tell me something about their story or 
something like why don't they just enjoy the book but i kind of like it because it kind of challenges me to say okay i need i'm gonna step up my game <laughs> on my next book y'all yeah, just gonna be like boom so this in the in the and i'm not a facebook person um so and you could tell because i couldn't even put the stupid review i typed it up and it wouldn't post i reached out to story origin so he gave me an option so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on amazon now because he mm -hmm. allowed and i think from you reaching out he actually in the story origin facebook group he made actually a video for people with oh. chats and everything <laughs> I, I'm, I had two computer screens in front of me i could send an email i could do you know spreadsheets i could do all of this stuff but i was like what the heck i just did reviews on the why can i do this and i was <laughs> i was really frustrated well that kind of helped me too because like now i can explain it to other people how they can do it because i wasn't really sure this is the first time i've ever used them because i've been trying to like boost my reviews up you know for my other books and stuff and i was like i would put my books out in advance like a year in advance and maybe get like five reviews and I'm like, come on, what, what am I doing wrong? Because I read them. I read them and I tell you, it takes me about a day and a half to read a book. I yeah. don't like I don't like short stories. So it has to be like between three and five hundred pages. I mean, if it's more than five, great. That's even more wonderful. But I don't like the small, like a hundred. It was this, I had a, a girlfriend, um, she had a relative who wrote a book and, you know, she referred it. I bought the book. I spent $10 on this book and it was less than, a, it was 106 pages and it pissed me off. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say. Oh my God. It made me angry because I'm like, I'm not spending $10 on a hundred page book. I can read that. I read it in 45 minutes. I was angry. And I probably would have read it quicker had I not been, you know, doing some other things. And so, um, you know, so when, when I'm investing in the book and I, I do a lot more on my Kindle than I do on a paperback versus my cousin, she has probably 300 books in paperback. I got, what, four totes in my basement, but they, you know, once I read them, they're gone, you know, I'll donate them or whatever, but when I have a more Kindle or even in the Velo format, I can always go back. And I have a couple of stories that are truly I love. And I've read them probably 10 times. And, you know, sometimes you just need to pick me up and they're, you know, series and stuff. So you go back and you just reread and it just make you feel good, you know. You want to have a, you know. Yeah, just so, have them. Questions. So I need you to answer some questions. I'm sorry. I'm still working. So I got Okay. No. So yeah, we got to get that's what I was going to say after this, we're going to get to the story. So hold on. let me move you over a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to put you on there so I can hear exactly what you are saying. I'm going to make sure I answer you. Because I'm the cold probably come back and be Wait a minute. <laughs> so can you still hear me? Uh -huh. I hear you. Okay, good. Good. Okay. So First okay, question. Which, oh, first, we're talking about. Um, let's the let's do his yeah. Let's do his substitute wife first. I mean, sub, I mean her substitute husband first. Let's do that one. Okay. All right. Okay. So number one, I read thanks to Brielle. Uh, the judge is the one that Blue saw on the video when she first started at the hotel, um, and she was thinking it was her friend who got caught up in the nightlife in Detroit. Um, and so when uh, Shay and Zig was talking, um, or uh, uh, Zygmunt and Dylan was talking, and he mentioned about the judge he had found to marry them in upstate Michigan or in the upper Michigan, whatever. And he said, man, I, that name sound familiar. Then he brought up, um uh, when uh <laughs> I, this this part here was the one that got me is when um he did not because i assumed and that's me i assume when they did the background check it was for the get down but he did he did not um the health check but he sent the health check or the 
you know, you're going to get full benefits and your wife needed too. Y'all hurry up and go to the doctor. So wait a minute. I had to read, you know, when I went back to check about the judge and I read that part and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Because you don't do that just a normal person. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> So he, so that was, so, so he was already on it. Then when Onyx told, um, Shay, when she came into the, um, the employee lounge at the hotel, at the motel, she was like, well, he sat outside the restaurant for three hours watching you. He sat outside the doctor's office for two hours and he bumped into you on purpose. So when Nicole has said that they, he saw her before, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. So where did he really see? So I'm I'm going somewhere with this, right? <laughs> so then okay. when, the, uh, when Ronald said she, he was bringing the boss to the Halloween party, he already scoped her out. He knew exactly who he was looking for. He wasn't all uh, trying to be, you know, because he didn't even like Ronald. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay. But he was sitting there. He watched her. And Dylan saw that he was watching her, but didn't say anything, you know, because, you know, Dylan is Dylan. Then, um, what else? I'm wondering when they had, um, he followed her when he took her home and got angry with her and everything. Was that because he was really into her? And did he initially see her through Stephanie first? through somebody else in passing um or what because he followed her to the motel and was angry with her and for whatever reason thought that you know he was she was gonna take his money and all of this stuff but they at that point they had only had two interactions so why did he think that she was gonna take his money i'm just curious you know you know inquiring minds well the majority of your answers are going to be in 69. Okay. The majority. Uh, okay. You're going to find a lot of stuff um, of what what had created this whole situation. And, okay. Um, but because he is, and Tyler did warn, and I don't know if you've read Black's Innocence. Oh, where, I did not. Uh, so <laughs> they, he, like he said, they have a problem. Once they become obsessed with something, they, they become fully obsessed with it. They have to go through with it. For Tyler, it's all about revenge. He has to desecrate you, your family, your great, great grand family. So Tyler, all his family is like that. Once you hurt him, he's going to take you out some kind of way. In terms of Zygmunt, it's like for some reason when he gets obsessed about a person, he wants to just immerse himself into that person, as you can see. So he saw, like, your an the answers to your questions is all in 69. He has been in Shea for a while now, longer oh. than what they assumed oh. he was. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. so, so this is the next thing. Because Onyx said that Zygmunt is in love with being in love or he's con he's consumed with love right. and he i think he admitted it too when he was in the um in the workout room with uh rick or erica um <laughs> right <laughs> because rube went to search for their partner mm -hmm. and um he said, but, you know, y'all chasing women to be chasing women, but I'm chasing because of love. Now, I got a couple of things out of there. One, because of his upbringing. Um, his mom, you know, um, uh, separate, well, wait a minute, I'm getting these mixed up. So, raised by his father. Right. But was, has the two brothers. The brothers disliked him because he was a favorite, yet the daddy didn't treat him as a favorite. The mom, um, when he went to America and went to school and everything, he still wasn't, I mean, yeah, compared to, because, you know, our children see things different than parents uh -huh. see. Different. But he didn't feel or get the love from the parents 
and neither from the brother. So I can understand why he wants that love and that connection. But then he's so smart and it's so much jealousy around and he can see his two brothers, the one that's the whatever, the latch, latchy, and then the other one who wants to run things, but they don't have what he have. And so it's jealousy there. But then he can see that these two don't even get along. So then, you know, when I read about Beck story, and I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. All of these people seem like they connected somehow. And um, so I'm just wondering, okay, so is he looking for love because he never had love? And is that why he was so obsessed initially? And he know that he got to get it from a woman? Or with Shay, she opened up something he, he wasn't even anticipating. You know what I'm saying? So he was so manipulating to plan to marry because he really wants to get married uh -huh. and really wants to love. But now he like, wait a minute. I didn't know that it was something else, this friendship piece, you know, right. and sex is obviously one, right? But then he's <laughs> like, Dylan is something he never had before, but he's struggling to trust Dylan. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's, Zygmunt is so complex. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He is. He's one of my most complex. Other than Letho and King, he's he's a very complex. And I think I started with him first because I had a choice. I I have these these people in my head and they just sit in chairs until I decide to write their story. And I saw all three of them and I said, well, which one is going to come first? So I needed Zygmunt to come first so you can understand the complexity of King and lethal i needed you guys to understand why they have this back and forth thing of loving and hating each other and why but they want to think <laughs> it's crazy yeah so how is lethal and king are they brothers they're cousins they are so cousins i'm about to jump to the other book because okay. she works hard for the money when they when you were describing um the birth of the triplets the auntie not only did she have the daughter that died and then something with the son who was right. you know, he got arrested or whatever but she had another set of boys i thought they were twins or something and it was after she had that set that they then did something to the other one that you know we knew something was going on with him um and then she kind of went off to the crazy land right so these two boys who are they is, is that the rube and um somebody else because no, so rube is the one that got out of jail and then started mma fighting with rick so rube is that guy wait that say went that again to yeah he went to jail he got out and they started mma fighting their story will be kind of fleshed out in their book um they actually have a book coming <laughs> Oh, but but for the twins, they okay. uh, Zygmunt knows the twins. He knows their whole family. Um, I always say people attract what uh, what they are. Um, okay. If you have a kindred spirit with something, you end up attracting other people with that same kindred, and that's why uh, they they are all attracted to each other, or they're all in this kind of close circle of oh, I know you and I know you by this relation and I know you by this relation. So yes, there are twins out there. They're fraternal uh, twins that are out there. And actually they're very pretty close right now to Torch Lake, but you but just you don't know you. Yeah, right. What'd you say? Say that you haven't, you haven't given no, them. No, I haven't, I haven't given them. Um, oh, they'll probably oh, be I, mentioned. Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I, I said, I remember. And then I couldn't go back in the book because I had the book on, it wasn't through Vela. I had the book on right. um, the other thing. So and I'm just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, hold on, wait a minute. And I'm like, this girl going to have me taking notes like I'm in school. Like, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> so, yeah, it is like a big kind of world that I, I have no idea how I keep up with, you know, all the 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 people it's kind of like being at a family reunion and you know everybody business so oh you can <laughs> so are you, uh, mona and her own book 
So Mona will get her own book and okay. and yeah, she'll get her own book as well. So I love to see that. And um, because you know, my first question was, What happened to the baby? What happened to the baby? What happened to the baby that was cut out of Ani? So now I know Shadow, because when I read it, I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> So, but the only thing is, I need more of this because I need to know why is Onyx so crazy. I really need to understand this woman is is like she crazy. I mean, I don't even think crazy is the right word for her. It's something. No, it's, something she's, she's off. Um, she has her own vices. Uh, because who she is and what she can do. She, so what is it? How, um, they think it just you know come through walls and show up and moan it a thousand times and come back to life and you know it's, it's so 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 this is my deal because I know other people okay. are be watching this lady is crazy <laughs> jumping everywhere it's fine I can catch up with you I can so so i need to know if if i'm looking at your literary work where do i start to see character one all the way through to today like i know that this book is in progress but the characters in this book obviously they existed before this book so where do i start what's the first book oh, that Jesus. i need characters well i usually say when somebody asks me that question i usually say start with Stealing Innocence, even though that is my fourth book, mm -hmm. it is actually the first book, well, it's actually the second book I decided to start, start the actual world. Okay. I was already, I carried on characters from my first book, Dreams of Reality, over to my third book, which was Deceptive Nights. So Thaddeus okay. and Dreams of Reality does appear or have conversation with the main characters in Deceptive Nights. But when I got to my fourth book, Stealing Innocence, which is the first time you'll meet Onyx okay. um, and you'll meet Jalen, which he's he's like the biggest a-hole and he's he's a bigger a-hole than anybody. <laughs> he he will he will drop bombs and don't even care about your feelings. So you will hate him a lot, <laughs> but it's actually his book, his romance book. Um, but it, once I got into Onyx, I was like, I know I'm going to have to have a book for her. But that's, wait, say that again. Definitely. But yeah, I knew she would have to have a book, but her character is so magnanimous. Like, I, I knew I had to build I had to build her man up. Like by the time you, you got to her book, you already knew who mostly some people have guessed who she's going to be with because you have heard about him in talking, but like nobody can really put their finger on it because I haven't really said anything. I think I said it to one person in the whole world and she's dead now. <laughs> Thank goodness, because <laughs> I think people would pay her and she would tell you. <laughs> but I would say start with Stealing Innocence. Okay. And from there, hold on, I would have to look. Hold on, let me get the board. I got to look at the board. So it's a big board behind me. So I would say start with Stealing Innocence, then go to Diary of a, because that's when you meet Letho. And then read Silent Links. And I know this is a book like hardly anybody even touches. But once you read Silent Links, you will understand why the war is about to start. It's all because of Silent Links, because of what happened in there. Okay. Um, that's why these, the, I don't think I introduced King Heart. My readers will have to, I bet Ebony would know. Ebony would know when I finally introduced king heart i'm trying to remember i'm looking at all the titles to see really fast but i can't really i really can't think of it i know like he had a good role in the first in both of the emperor hearts books 
um, he had a significant role and you kind of, you finally saw him. He was always referred to, but then you finally saw him. So that started off people saying, you know, team lethal or team king, because this war is coming. And a lot of the characters you have met in the Hart family, unfortunately, I've said it before, they are going to die. <laughs> so... So I'm sorry in advance. So if you get mad at me, I'm. And that's it. That's Liz it. But yes, the Woods brothers, uh, those are the fraternal twins. They have their own book. They'll have two different books um, as fraternal twins. A lot of people thought that it was going to be polyamorous, but those twins in that book that you know people think that I forgot about. Yeah, and then it's the then it's another family that because since I'm getting rid of the black family, there won't be any more black books um two more families are about to pop up so yay why are you getting black people well it's a well they're i'm i'm kind of done with that uh thing they'll still come back like you'll still see tyler um uh i'm bringing i'm bringing back the mysterious mr black he's gonna come back in for another thing and then um but the, it, it moves on to a new family now a new because then I still have to do the con artist family. I don't think you've met them at all. They gotta oh. come. So it's, yeah, it's stuff to come. <laughs> Normally take you to write. How long? It usually takes me about three months. This is one of my longest books. Uh, I thought I would be done by February, but actually, this is one of my biggest books. The other big book, the last big book I wrote was actually called her substitute, his substitute wife, her sister. That was the last biggest book. And now this, <laughs> I did not expect it to be this big. And actually I am like, I am, cause I have a printout. Let me see. Yeah, I have my printout here. And I just literally on my printout, see, I, I cross out whenever I do like a fast write on the book. So, so see this is like, where it's all crossed out is like all the stuff that I have done in the book. And I think now I only have like three pages left, but this, I couldn't believe like this turned into a hundred thousand because I didn't write out the love scenes because there's a lot of love scenes in here. And, and then this is actually the first time I've, I fully immersed myself in the male's POV as well. And that's because I had to build that bromance. And I, and I mean, what's so unique about this book is that when I was reading everybody else's, you know, MMF books or reverse harem, usually the guy go gay and, you know, that's how they keep the action going. I didn't want my guys to go gay. Like, I don't know what it is about that. It's just like, why do they have to go gay? Like, the, and I don't know if it's just to get the pages turning. But why can't just guys enjoy sharing a woman and being okay with that? So why? that's why I said, Question. That I don't know. Of the year. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just like, I'm like, okay, I can do this without them going gay and being justified also with sharing this, this woman and just being immersed in her and all that stuff. So. I said, this is my challenge and that's what I'm going to work on. So I'm hopefully, uh, yeah, but it takes me about three months to write a book because I'm usually in about a hundred thousand to 120,000 words right now. This book is running a little over 200,000 okay. words. So okay. I do want to know, like, are the chapters, so I'm keeping the chapters between 24 to 2,900 words a piece, is that long enough or should, because then other authors I see on Kindle Vela are making their series shorter. Do you Which think? Depends because I just finished um, a different um, writer. She wrote two series. So she did two, it was a book. She broke it into groups, right? Like I uh -huh. guess book one and book two, but she called them series one and series two. Mm -hmm. Um, those were, the episodes were half the length of what you write. Okay. So because 